it's Kimberly and I'm here with a video about Germany while I'm in Thailand. But I seriously get asked a lot of questions from friends back home about traveling around Germany. So I decided I wanted to make a video about mistakes you should not make while you are in Germany. I have seen other people make these mistakes. I have made some of these mistakes and I just don't want to see y'all do it. So what are the 10 mistakes you should not make in Germany? Stay tuned to find out. I've been to Germany on and off now for the past two years and when I go to Germany, I stay there for a hot minute. So here's my list of 10 mistakes you should not make while you are in Germany. Number one, don't assume all of Germany is the same. I kind of didn't really have a perception of Germany before I went, so I didn't really make this mistake, but I hear a lot of people thinking that all of Germany is like Bavaria, and it's just not. Germany is diverse, seriously. There are so many different accents in Germany, um, dialects in Germany. Yes, there is a stereotypical Bavaria, but there's also um, Hamburg and Northern Germany, which is right by the water in the Baltic Sea, and it's beautiful. There's Eastern Germany, and then there's Western Germany, there's Cologne, there's Berlin, and it's all very different. It's all so different, so it's hard to put Germany really in this box because it is incredibly diverse. So definitely, if you have the time, get to know all of Germany as much as you can, and don't just assume it's all beer and bratwurst, because it's not. Number two, this is for my Americanish friends, specifically, and that is do not be loud on the U-Bahn. I feel like Americans come over to Europe and don't really know how public transportation works in general and you're used to holding the same volume in places like on the public transportation but if you put yourself in other people's positions like the Ubon is meant for going to work going to places and right after work people just want silence and so don't be loud on the Ubon. it's a very disrespectful thing to do just chill, read a book, enjoy the culture, be a part of the culture, don't be loud, just go with it, bring your own book, get on your phone, but don't be the loud, boisterous tourist. And Germans will really appreciate that. And if you're talking loudly on the U-Bahn, you're definitely gonna get some German side eye, so you're welcome in advance. Number three. Do not rely on your credit card. Germany is not a card culture at all. So most places that you go to, you will have to use cash unless you're going to grocery stores or fast food restaurants or even if you go to a bit higher end restaurants, um, you will be able to use card. But for the most part, you're gonna need cash. Never ever get cash out from Euronet. Euronet is literally the worst thing a person could do. So don't go to Euronet, go to indoor banks only. Euronet will try to sell your soul. So definitely stay away from that. And just bring cash everywhere, just get used to it. You're not gonna be able to use your card. That's just how it is. This is something that really changes depending on which European country you're in. And Ireland, Sweden, Norway, they're all on the card train. Like you can pay with your phone, you can pay with card, but Germany's just not on that train. So definitely have cash with you all the time. And it's just how it is. That's how things roll in Germany. Just go with it. Number four, I'm speaking from personal experience. I made this mistake before I came to Germany and that is ladies, just don't bring hills, just don't do it. There's cobblestone everywhere. And Germans have really managed to make the whole streetwear really fashionable. And I think part of it is also because you really can't wear heels on the street. It's just cobblestone, you're gonna twist your ankle, it's a hazard. Just don't wear heels, don't bring heels, bring some nice sneakers, 
and you'll thank me later. All right, number five is you should not walk into a person's house with your shoes on. The host will let you know if you're allowed to take your shoes off or keep them on. If it's a good host, correct me if I'm wrong, if it's a good host, they should tell you you don't have to take your shoes off, but my rule of thumb is I always just take my shoes off because one, it shows respect for somebody's house and two, it's unhygienic to be wearing your shoes all over the house, tracking in mud, dirt, dog poop. No, I understand this so much. This is something I have changed in my own life. Um, before I started traveling Europe, I would always wear my shoes in the house and now I don't because it's honestly, it's disgusting. So just take your shoes off. You don't need shoes inside a house anyways. All right, number six is just figure out public transportation. Seriously, in Germany, it's super easy to figure out. You can pretty much get to any street with any type of mode of transportation. I really recommend you figure this out because taxis are just expensive and not worth it in my opinion. So just figure out public transportation. You'll save a lot of money and it's just the way of the people. Just do what the Romans do. Number seven. This is huge. Okay, I am not innocent on this one. Disclaimer, I'm in the, I'm just, I'm not. And that is to obey the pedestrian lights. If it says no walking, if it's red, just stop. If it's green, go. If you walk on a red, you will seriously get some German eyes on you. You'll get the German side eye, the So just take my advice and just wait for green to go, red, chill. And Germany is just one of those countries that take that a little bit more seriously than other countries. So better safe than sorry. Number eight. Um, I'm indifferent about this one. I say at the end of the day, you do you, do what makes you feel comfortable. But if you wear athletic clothes in public, it's very obvious which country you come from. I'm here in Thailand right now and actually quite a lot of people wear athletic clothes just out like we do in America, but it's not common in Europe. So if you don't wanna stand out, don't wear athletic clothes out in public, if you feel comfortable and still want to do it, you do you. You are who you are. Nine is don't leave without trying Deutsche Brot. It is the most lekka lekka thing ever that you'll ever have in this world. And seriously guys, I never had it. Like the first time I came to Germany, I didn't really know that bread was the big thing in Germany and I didn't even eat it at all. And uh, the second time I came around, I learned. I really did. And I ate a lot of bread. And I gained a lot of weight. But it's seriously super delicious. So I definitely recommend trying out the broth. They're so proud of it. Um, and eat it for the first time from a bakery rather than going to the grocery store. Because there's just nothing like fresh, hot bread. Mmm. So good, with just like a dab of butter. Really good. Number 10, I'm ending this on a kind of serious note just because it's crazy to me that I even have to say this. It really just baffles me. But don't make Nazi jokes. Why would you even do that? Like I seriously don't understand people's insincerity towards this. I think that people don't realize how recent this war was. It wasn't that long ago. Like people are still bearing the consequences and suffering from this horrific event. And Germany has come a long way from the Nazi era to really prove themselves otherwise. So making Nazi jokes and bringing up the past like that is just very, very disrespectful. So just don't do it. But I do really recommend, like if you become friends with any of the locals, ask them a bit about what their history was with it, 
how their family was um, when you get to know them well enough because it is really fascinating and Germany did a really good job of teaching my generation about the war um, and about how horrible it was so they're very aware of it and they don't live in ignorance so that's Alice that's my list I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you all have any video recommendations definitely comment them down below I'm now uploading twice a week instead of one time a week so I would really appreciate any suggestions recommendations hair changes just kidding <laughs> my hair won't change I love you guys so much Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all on Friday. Cheers!